Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short videos on problem solving techniques. In video number 14 we're going to take a look at SREDM process improvement. So first off, what is SREDM? Well, SREDM is an acronym and each of the letters stand for uh, Select, Record, Evaluate, Determine, Implement and Maintain. SREDM is an analysis of ways of doing work. It's all about process improvement. So what we do is we select the problem to be solved. We record data on that problem. We evaluate those data collected. We determine the solution of the problem which is selected. We implement the solution. And finally, we maintain the solution in practice. When should we use SREDM? Well, if you're experiencing inconsistent quality in products and services, or there's poor operation planning, if you have health and safety regulations being ignored or not understood, or if there's a build-up of things like queues and bottlenecks, or maybe even leading to a high rate of product returns. And don't forget that even high levels of employee stress and fatigue might be occurring. So you might look at improving your process to eliminate these inconsistencies and which are contributing to poor quality. So SREDM is a form of process improvement procedure that you will hopefully find useful. So let's take a look at each of the six components of SREDM one, one by one. First off, you select. You and your team should determine what is the problem to address? And you select the problem on the basis of several criteria, with several listed here, such as delays and safety issues, queues, bottlenecks, and so on. It's important to remember that you select one problem at a time, so you're really addressing only one problem here. Other problems will wait for somebody else or for another opportunity. The R stands for record, and this is where you and your team members collect data about the selected problem and present it to each other. This gives you an opportunity then to use data gathering techniques such as observation, interviews, experiencing on the job. It's important to remember here as well that you don't ask the question why something is happening. You are simply focusing on facts and collecting data about the selected problem. So if you use the, your data gathering techniques to do this, you should get enough data uh, for you and your team to analyze. The E stands for evaluate. And this is where we evaluate the problems. We're going to ask a series of questions here. For example, why? Why is the process needed? Why is it being done? What are all the activities involved? And what are the essential relevant activities? Where is the process taking place? Who is responsible for delivering the process? When does it start? When does it finish? You may also look at how we do this process or how can this process be done? And finally, how much does the process cost and how much can be saved by implementing process improvement? And we call this method 5W2H, which you may come across in, in other videos or in the literature. The D stands for determine or sometimes develop. And if carried out successfully, the select, record and evaluate stages done previously should lead directly to one or more potential solutions. So this is where you and your team judge the potential solutions and select one of these solutions on a comparative basis. Use analysis tools such as brainstorming and value analysis to help you thoroughly examine each of the potential solutions. The realism of these solutions is very central now. And finally, at the end of this stage, you select one of the solutions. Once selected, you implement, or install, the I stands for implement, in SREDM. Now you implement the solution chosen in the previous step. New methods, once agreed and costed, must be implemented. This may require a detailed project plan and a budget. You've got to manage the risk of a new change, and you may also need to implement staff training so that the implementation or installation is successful. And finally, the M stands for maintain. And this is where you maintain the solution in the real world. And team members, they plan a way about how to fight the opposition against their innovation, how to persuade their partners, sponsors, champions and stakeholders in order to make the new solution survive. There will be teething troubles, so potentially you might have a hit team or a SWAT team or something like that to uh, respond to teething troubles as they arise. You should use this opportunity to have a formal review of what has gone on beforehand in the previous steps. And finally, you may need to carry out some performance measurements such as return on investment. So you're going to have a series of tools which are going to help you maintain the solution in the real world. So let's take a look at an example. Um, SREDM is quite often used in things like job safety analysis. And in job safety analysis, most jobs can be broken down into smaller components. Each basic step is to identify the potential risks and hazard for each component. And finally, you'd hope that the safety analysis would recommend the safest way to do, to do the job. So we're going to use SREDM to help us in our job safety analysis. So the basic procedure for a job safety analysis is following the SREDM process improvement is that we first of all, we select the job to be analyzed. And then we record by breaking the job down into its components or steps and record these sequence of steps to complete the job. The third part, we evaluate each component part of the job to determine the risk of an accident. 
For the determined stage, the fourth part, we determine and develop control measures for each component to reduce or eliminate the risk of an accident occurring. In implementation, we implement a formal written safety procedure and safety instructions for the job being reviewed. And finally, in the maintained stage, we review the procedures at regular intervals to ensure that they are actually being used. So SREDM in this case here can be applied to almost any type of job, whether it's a physical job or a mental job, easy or short job, or even a more difficult or complex job. You can use the SREDM process improvement procedure to help you out here. So let's take a look in our example at a very simple job, changing a light bulb. And I've got some of the first steps listed here in this table. The problem that I have selected is change a light bulb. So that's the S. The record section is the job step in the leftmost column here. So we record all the steps involved in changing a light bulb. So for example, we turn off the light switch and get a step ladder and place it under the bulb and climb the ladder and remove the bulb. The evaluation is where for each step we evaluate the risks identified. So for example, in turning off the light switch, there is a risk of an electric shock or that a, somebody turns off the wrong switch. And so on, we have several other risks identified here. The D part of SREDM is where we determine the safety precautions for the risks in the, for each step. So the step turn off a light switch where the risks might be the wrong switch or that there is electric shock is a risk. The safety precautions here is that we must ensure that the light switch is in the off position and perhaps even disconnect the appropriate fuse so that there will be no electric shock. And we can apply these procedures of recording, evaluating and determining the precautions for each of the steps as we go down through the table here. Uh, at this stage you might like to pause the video in order to read through the rest of the steps. Finally, once you've done all of this then, you implement the new safety procedures in the install stage or implementation stage and maintain these procedures as you would have written them out here. So, in summary, SREDM helps us to formally plan a structured procedure for things like job safety analysis by doing things one at a time, selecting the problem and recording data about that problem, evaluating those data, uh, determining what the solution is, implementing that solution and maintaining it in the real world. If you found this technique useful, it is one of several techniques and strategies covered in my new book, An Introduction to Business Systems Analysis, which is published by the Liffrey Press and available at Amazon.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.